Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio. I'm Sally and in today's video I want to do another wave smocking video. The wave smocking video, well, I've done several of them, they're in a smocking playlist. It was one of my most and still is one of my most popular videos that I see cropping up over and over again. People are viewing the wave smocking and Yep, I'm just going to make another one. I had the intention quite a while ago that I was going to use this stripy fabric from Leon's Fabric in Chalton. And I thought I would do the wave smocking on this just out of interest to see what the wave smocking would look like kind of, you know, on stripy fabric, whether it's kind of an optical illusion or something a bit different. So I'm going to do the stripes vertically and I've got my trusty one inch grid already marked out on paper. By the way, you can actually get these gridded papers on Amazon if you didn't know already. They're already printed up and you can use those to trace through onto fabric. And I'll probably get some at some point, but for now I'm really happy enough with this until this paper just falls apart. So I am going to use my water soluble pen and I've got my ruler and I can actually trace through. I've got the wrong side of the fabric facing up and so I'm just going to trace through one inch squares. I am using 16 inches by 16 inches. So I am going to mark this up. It's a blooming freezing day today. That's why I've got my polar neck on and my warm sweater. It's a bit grey, the skies, and it's that horrible, drizzly rain, um, which is a bit grim. But hey ho, we crack on. You're probably not going to be able to see this too well. Oh, you can see it a little bit. We have got one inch grid. I've used the chalk pencil and the water soluble pencil and that's all done and dusted. You're coming to see Sally. Have you? Hello. Hi. Can you give you a stroke? Oh, you're all wet. Oh no, you're all wet. Need to go and dry off, Layla. Mm. Go on. Off you go. Right then. So this is the design, the wave smocking, if you've seen these videos before. Very simple. Diagonal in one direction, a space, and then over to the left, diagonal. So we're going to repeat that all over this grid. I'm going to probably leave about two inches on either side all the way around and have a smaller design just in the middle there. Look at that squirt. You've just walked over my design and put a paw on you. Don't go on this fabric. No, 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 no. Can you see? So yeah, stay off this. Oh, you got wet feet. Just shaking a leg. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, Layla. What's the matter with your paw? Are you bet wet still? Let's get back to it. She's shaking her legs. I'm going to use my Gutterman thread this time, not the other one. I'm back again. And She's itching to stand on this fabric. You know how cats like to sit on a square of any fabric? I've noticed anyway. No, no. She's trying. If there's like a square piece of paper on the floor or on the table, she's up and she's on it. And she's just like staring there, aren't you? Hoping that you can sit on it. No chance. 
Right, so I'm not doing double thread. I'm just going to whip on a knot at the bottom, like so. Is that going to hold? We got one here. I've come in two inches at the top and the bottom. Going to leave a gap, pop another one there. These don't have to be straight, these lines. This is just directing and showing me where I'm going to need to sew. So I'm going to stop there. And that is a bit of singing in the background to keep us entertained. And then we go over this way. Not the most difficult design to follow. And then we're going to pop that over there. You still watching Layla? Needs a bit of help. I'm not going to be able to see that. So let's just pop a little bit more in here. Just went out the room for a second. Guess who's on Z fabric? I said that's no go area. Yep, off. Off. Off she goes amongst the hats. Good girl. To begin with, we're going to start doorbell now. Okay then, let's get cracking. Oh no, where's my thread? It's all going wrong. I'm going to start in the corner here. And go over to this corner. And then I'm gonna pull my thread. Pull the two bits of fabrics together. I'm going to take my needle through that loop and then try to keep your stitch little because um, it does affect the wave design on the back. And then I've done two stitches there to hold it together and then I'm just going to pop two knots on just because I feel like I want two knots. Chop that off. and pop another knot on and then we are going back down to the next one so find the corner small stitch maybe smaller than that and then down over here pull those two together and tie a knot. So practically, we're going to do that all the way down the first row. You need to go out and then get going. with you sitting there Layla is that I can't see what we're doing over here do you know what I think she wants I'm gonna go on the bed bed Good girl. Where's your bed? Good girl. She loves the bed. 
done the first row. Okay. I am going to carry on. What you do now is it's exactly the same. Students that I teach on a Saturday, when they did this wave stocking, they found if you turned it upside down and you're used to obviously doing it from a certain way, I find it easier. Not liking this thread though, I might have to switch to the upholstery thread. It's just slipping out too much. Through. There she is, already sleeping. I just feel that when um, I'm using this upholstery thread, it's just not going to break or snap that easily. It's really quick to thread up with as well. Okay, so we are on the last stitch. Quite like it on the back actually. So any bits that haven't come out as a wave, you can just use your fingers to just sort out the wave pattern that so I think that's all of them. What do I think? Hmm honestly mm, it's not as successful as I would have hoped if I'm honest. Um, I think I was expecting something a little bit more radical. <laughs> Do you know what I think I'm going to have to do is do the stripe horizontally just to see how that's going to work. I'm going to prep up another piece of fabric, 12 inches down and 12 across, but I've left them two inches all the way around. And then I have drawn out the design again. It's going to be a little mini one. And then you can see I've put the stripes horizontally. So let's see how this affects the overall piece. Okay, let's get to it. So if you want to check out the wave smocking that my students did on a Saturday in my art class, then go to the last video, the last millinery video that I did last week's and I filmed a little bit of the work that they had done and I'm really super impressed with it. They've picked it up really well. There we go. That is so much better. Let me just get you. You right there, Lay? You right, Leila? Yeah. So yeah, anything that's kind of out of place like that, you can just pinch with your fingers like that. And get the wave back into place. Oh, wow, wish I'd done that one a bit bigger now. It's just a mini one, so that is so, so cute. That works really well. Let me get the other one. So that was the first one. That works way better, don't you think? 
that one's just more distorted, but this one, I just think it's cool. I may have to do a bigger one at some stage. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching today and if you enjoyed it do give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so i'd love to have you as a viewer and i shall see you in the next video take care of yourselves bye